Good evening. We are so grateful to you for being with us this evening to honor a friend and a warrior, a woman I once referred to as the Malcolm X of the women's movement. I've arrived at that time of life, as some of us here have, and if we're lucky, all of us will. <laughs> when going to memorials for many people we love will not be so rare. Nothing prepared me for today or for this moment. Not for a memorial like this for a woman more than a dozen years younger than I. Not for Andrea, who, though we are all irreplaceable, seemed somehow to be even more so. In an elegant arc from The New Woman's Broken Heart to Heartbreak, first book to last, Andrea Dworkin believed writing could move the earth and raise the dead, at least the living dead. Her writing did. Dearest Andrea, this is a letter because words are what you and I have always been about. Words vibrating between us in conversations and long letters over decades. Of course, today others are eavesdropping, but it's still a letter. I told you, Andrea, that I'd be royally pissed if I ever had to do what I'm doing now, 